Welcome guys. Today I plan on working on the upper frame rails that hold the fenders on and then connect to the uh, radiator support. Uh, I'll show you what I have going on here. This is cut ups from other Dawson 510s I had. Now on the one that's out there, sorry, I'll show you on the car when my neighbor stops cutting his grass. But it had rust all the way through here and I end up cutting it here. This was actually not the best one. I have a better one actually I have out there um, for, for I'm going to use on it. The problem is I have three, but they're all three for the uh, dry uh, passenger side. My other ones were too damaged and didn't work out. So it kind of stinks that I had two good ones. Actually, I could just replace it and make it look like it was from the uh, OEM factory, but I don't. So I'm debating on using the other cut I have to fix all that rust because that side had the most rust. Then I'll have to patch it manually and, oh, sounds like my neighbor's done cutting grass. So let's walk out here and find out. Oh, nope, spoke too soon before. But this one is where I think I left off last time. Make sure I don't fall because this is damaged and I only have rust full right here and right here. Uh, this is the part I was talking about for my passenger side. Since I have big rust holes there and right there. But I have, if I can lift it up with one arm. This right here. It's a lot more solid. The only problem is I bought this one off of a guy in California. The way he cut it, cut the line right down there. So it doesn't cover all the holes, see, match up, that I need. But the good part is, for the fender bolts too, is it nice and solid. That one's got nice rust holes all through it. And the back side of this, I'm guessing where the car was hit, because that's damaged on the underneath, but I thought I don't need to go that far. So I need to try to cut that off. See if I can get to match up. So I'm going to take a wire wheel to this a little bit more. See if I get any more rustles. So I figure out how far, how much of that I need to cut off. Figure out how I'm going to blend it all together. So let's get on that.
Well, if you notice from watching the video, I did completely different what I was saying I was going to do. I kept cutting more and more back, more rust started showing up. So I cut back as far as I could, made sure both sides were about the same size, and I put a cap on it. I'm actually quite happy the way it turned out. I need to do a little more grinding and I come back and fill some pinholes. I do need to get a grinder in here better though to grind this up. I didn't weld the bottom part because I'm terrible welding upside down and my welder didn't do a great job with it. So I got a project coming up though that I will be able to weld it, but I don't want to reveal that just yet. So I got this side done. Take a good close. It's not completely exactly 90, it's close as I could. It's hard to level the car in this garage, but it's made sure it was equal on both sides. And I had to come back, we were all this because I hit it with a hammer and the oh, seam just split right open. I did it an uh, unconventional way, I guess. I had the piece a little bigger and I tacked welded in. Then I went ahead and grind it down to fit to size. Then I went back and weld it. Um, really, you're supposed to make it a little bit smaller and then put the plate on it and weld it. That way it'll give you a better lip and better seal probably. But I'm terrible at cutting things exactly to size and be identical for both sides. So I feel the way I did it is good enough, strong enough. I'm not worried about it. Now the next thing you need to decide is then from here, I'm going to have a bar come out to here to the radiator supports. Now the only question is I do need this part extended down on top also. So if I have the one inch by inch tubing, I mean if I center it more, that means I have a bigger gap between here and I need to support this structure up here to make it more strong. So if I put the bar against it, I'd have to extend out somehow for here. So that's gonna be the next issue, uh, next thing I need to work on. But I'm gonna go ahead and won't be in this video. I'm trying to make them shorter videos because my goal is one per week and it's getting, it's really hard to keep that up. But now I'm actually a few days behind but next I'm going to uh, weld in the radiator support, then figure out what type of how I'm gonna do the brackets to tie that in. Then after that, I'm gonna work on a special project for this to be able to finish it, the, what I want to be able to get the engine and rest into it. So, hope you enjoy. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Thanks.